Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Well, the table I've set for us today is the bee's knees. That's right, it's a bumblebee tablescape. I've got lots of bumblebee dishes, a yellow and black color scheme, and fresh flowers from the garden. So let's take a look around the table. For today's tablescape, I'm using a fun yellow and white check tablecloth. It sort of makes me think of a kitchen dish towel. I'm also going to pair with it these woven placemats. Uh, I found these at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using black chargers today. And for the dishes, I have these pretty plates. Uh, they've got yellow flowers, green leaves, and of course a bumblebee. Uh, I picked these up too at Hobby Lobby. For the flatware, I'm going to use my black handled. I'm going to be using my black glasses today. And I have these cute bumblebee mugs. They've got the little beehive with the bumblebees all sitting around, one up on the handle. Aren't they cute? Uh, these came from Walmart. I'm going to be using black dinner napkins and I have these honeycomb uh, napkin rings and they have a bumblebee here on the front. I got those at Hobby Lobby as well. Here in the center of the table, I have a beautiful <laughs> bouquet of my hydrangeas. Uh, these I picked from the garden this morning. Uh, they're called pinkachus. They look sort of like limelights, but these at the end of the season will turn a dusty pink. And some of them, they're actually not quite ready. Some of them actually still have green tips, but I picked those deliberately. I kind of like to have that little touch of green, but I thought they were fluffy and pretty and I've put them in a yellow, a really bright canary yellow uh, container. It's vintage. Uh, I found it at a thrift store and I've set it on my black Mosher cake stand. <laughs> and on each side of it I have these pretty beehives. This one here is woven and then I've got another one on the other side. This one I ordered from L.L. Bean a number of years ago and it had honey in it. And then the second one on the other side, I believe I picked it up at Goodwill. If one's good, two's better. <laughs> at least that's my motto. And here at this end is one of my favorite teapots. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I got this teapot from a mail order catalog a few years back. Uh, there's also a ladybug that matches him. I featured her in my ladybug picnic video. I'll put a link at the end of this video if you guys want to see her. But uh, teapots this fanciful are a little bit hard to find these days. And I also have these cute little uh, plates. I guess they're dessert plates. Uh, they're the bumblebee with his black and white stripes. I found these at Goodwill. A set of four of them and I thought they were so cute. And here I've got a honey jar 
and it's a little beehive with the bumblebees. It's vintage. Um, I believe I picked it up at an antique shop. And these bee items, for the most part, reside in Mother's 50s kitchen. Believe it or not, I didn't really pick these up for a tablescape, uh, but once I found these bee plates, the idea started percolating, and I looked for these on eBay. I wanted to find six of them, but I never could find any more, so I guess you really can't find everything on the internet. But um, whenever I run across these other plates with the yellow flowers and the little bumblebee from Hobby Lobby, I thought, well, those will do. And here I've got another little beehive. It's got yellow flowers and a bumblebee on top. And it's actually uh, to hold your sink sponge. There's one in the back. But I thought it would be cute on the table anyway. And I also have these little yellow jar candles. Uh, these are by Pioneer Woman. I got these, I think maybe last year, uh, on clearance at Walmart. I thought they were cute. And I have the little black cape stand, and here on top of it is a cute little beehive. I guess maybe it's a small cookie jar, and it has the little bees on it. These little black cake stands, they also came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I believe I got those back at Christmas time. Here's a sweet little honeycomb dish with the bee on top. And at this end of the table, I have this vintage uh, little pitcher, or perhaps it's a coffee pot. I think it's really cute. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale years ago. Uh, we bought lots of things for Mother's 50s Kitchen. We went to a yard sale and it was all this diner stuff. We also have one of these in a bright blue that's exactly like this but I think it's so cute with its little matching lid. It's a miracle it's lasted and stayed with it all these years and not gotten broken. Here I've got another cute little honey jar. It's got the beehive with a little brown bumblebee on top. And here's another one. I think I found this one at Goodwill, I believe, with a little bee on the end of the spoon. And this is really sweet. It's a little string holder. And as you can see, it has the little hole for the string to come out and a little pair of scissors in the top and the string, the ball of string is inside. But these used to be popular years ago when people actually tied up meat and other frozen kitchen items with heavy paper. A lot of these too hang on the wall. They don't necessarily sit on the table, but I thought it was really cute. And it, I think it may match the, the little piece on the front of the table that holds the soap sponge or the sink sponge. And here I've got a really cute beehive cookie jar. And I believe I found it at Goodwill too. I've had it a long time. And it's got the bright yellow with the cute little bumblebees sitting around.
he's too cute. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this honey of a video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you decorate happily ever after. Bye-bye now.